We are at the beginning of our weekend trip to the Westmanner Eyjar. We just took the ferry uh, from Land Eyjahöpen in southern Iceland. It's about a 45 minute boat ride until we get here to the beautiful Westmanner Eyjar. Entering the harbor right now. And yeah, we are very excited for a great weekend. Uh, we have a lot of hikes planned. We are going to see the two highest peaks of the Westmanner Eyjar. And we will see Elephant Rock and some other really cool rock formations. And yeah, it's gonna be a fun weekend. First, we had a little lunch here at the harbor. Beautiful view on a black church that is actually a gift from Norway to Iceland. But then we could really start exploring. And the first day we went actually to the more northwestern part of the island. And we found this really cool spot here called Kaplakjota. And you see the water was just so blue and it was just really, really beautiful. And along the wall here, um, you can see the basalt columns. So that's what kind of shaped this little um, canyon, if you want to call it that way. Very pretty. We walked along the golf course to get to one of my highlights. This, you might see it, it's called Elephant Rock. Um, it has this really cool elephant shaped uh, rock formation there. A really amazing spot. After that, we hiked up Dalfjat, which is the second biggest, uh, second tallest area of the Westmanner area. And from the top, we had this amazing view over the ocean. Here in the distance, you can actually see parts of the mainland Iceland. Now looking towards Reykjavik, actually. Really great spot. Coming here in May was a great decision because all the birds are already back and being here up high on the mountains we're just literally in the middle of where all the birds are flying. On our way down, we still had enough energy to do some rolling around on the hill. But just check out how many birds there were. It was really amazing to see that and also to hear that. They were just so loud. It's really fantastic. And the Westmanner Eyjar are actually also famous for puffins. They come a little bit later in the season, so the ones that we are seeing here are full mass. It's just so amazing seeing them flying around and enjoying their lives here. And so ended our first day here in the Westmanner Eyjar and we were blessed with this amazing sunset. 
We're now already in May at a time in Iceland where the sun sets super late and rises uh, again very early and gave us this fantastic sunset to watch. The next day we started off testing this amazing local sport of the Westmanner air called Sprauga. So basically you have this rope hanging down from a rock and you can climb up as high as you can. Uh, the professionals go a little bit higher than we do, but you know, we are just beginners, so we took it easy and had some fun on the rope. Definitely a great thing to do. We had a lot of fun. After this little bit of morning fun, we went to our highlight of our trip. Um, we were about to climb this mountain here in the front of us, and it's called Heimaklatte, and it's the highest peak of the Westmanner area. The hike includes a couple of ladders, um, so it's going to be fun, and the view from up top will of course be just amazing. The first part of the hike was definitely the steepest. And it didn't take us long until we reached the first ladder. And yeah, as you can see, they were really damn steep. It actually was even more steep than it, than the video does not justice. But after we managed uh, to get over the steep ladders, the hike actually turned out being very easy and very nice. And the weather was of course just amazing, so we had a very pleasant time up there, having this great view over the town and getting slowly but surely higher and higher. Also some sheep decided to get cozy up here. And again we were as high as the birds fly. Without and so long Squeeze its fagus Blow my snow Stand the first in of Dottard Sing a fiddler Fangers blood The view from the top was just stunning. 
We spend so much time just sitting up here, watching the birds, looking at the cliffs, looking at the rock formations and islands. It was just really amazing. And top of that, we got so lucky with the weather. It was so warm and completely wind still, which is very well in Iceland already, but especially on top of the mountain on a little island. So we were really, really lucky. But at some point it was time to go back down. We still had a lot more to explore. The rest of the day we spent walking all the way down to Storhöfti, which is the most southern peak of the Westmanna area. On our way back the sun started to set again over the ocean and it was another beautiful sunset. On our last day we decided to explore the new lava field that the volcano Eltfett produced here in the year 1973. So we are now in the eastern part of the island and yeah, the eruption in 1973 actually had a quite big effect on the town. It actually flew into the town and ruined quite a few houses. And it also actually changed the coastline quite a bit. So now the island is actually bigger than it was before the eruption. But yeah, it was a very beautiful walk and definitely super interesting seeing a couple of the remains and uh, learning about the history. From the lava field we had again an amazing view on Heimakletje. This is the mountain that we hiked yesterday. So now our time has unfortunately ended. It was a really amazing weekend. Lots of hiking, lots of exploring and we really enjoyed it a lot. For sure won't be our last trip. <laughs>